<sighs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, you yeah, ready for a night to remember? Yeah, no, no pool this time, but hey, the audio is working, so I don't know. You tell me. Is hey, well, you'll get to see some gameplay before you know 8:30 Eastern time. <laughs> Crazy talk. Yeah, you know what, Zach? Uh, I gotta say, thank you for letting me take this shirt home. It's starting to grow on me. Wes, did you see? I posted in the Discord, but my mom texted yes. me and said, oh my God, those clothes are terrible. And I said, mom, those aren't actually my clothes. You know that, right? No, and she's no, like, Zach, I thought you, I, she, she genuinely was like, I thought you owned the crop top. And I was like, what are you talking about, mom? Zach, Zach, there's no need to lie in front of our chat. They'll you're just right. love you no matter you're what right. your wardrobe is. Of course, Come of on. course. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Zach, uh, once again, thank you so much for letting me take this shirt home. It's, uh, it's really starting to grow on me. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hate you. And our lawyer, Pridge. Probably wearing his own shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you like these streams, you can catch this and many more on twitch.tv slash save data team. And if you'd like to support us, you can head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Just two bucks a month gets you the full access to every single VOD that we do. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams, which will be tomorrow where we play uh, some more Escape Room Academy or Escape, uh, escape Room Simulator. And for the $10 level and above, you get your name included in the Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bomb, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Hello Dave, Hog, Lucha, and Sofino, HSM, Fern, Wake, Pro Knight, Danny, and the Lester, Kevin, Asian, shout out Navi. Shout out to Jacob, Bell, Taco Sensei, our key, Forensic, Peck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick, Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Chrysanth, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all, our Patreons! Uh, shoot, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh yeah, important thing, if you're watching this live or on the YouTube video later, next week we're gonna be testing out a thing because of all the weird shit going on with Twitch. Uh, we are going to try streaming our Ace Attorney stream on YouTube. Same time, uh, it'll be up on our YouTube. Again, we'll post the links as we go live and all that. But uh, next week, do not come to the Twitch page. Uh, just, we wanna see how, how it does. If people like watching it there, uh, the, the revenue stream is way better there and, and Twitch is kind of screwing over its yeah. creators. So. They just treat their creators a little better, so we wanna Try it. A little bit, but it is it is twenty yeah, percent better. Slight, so <laughs> slightly, slightly. Let's get back into the game. Da, 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 da. Ah. Uh, so we were gonna go see. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, right, just me. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to Shom's house. Oh boy, let's get this over. Let's do this. Hey, here we go, baby. Bridge, I hope you're ready. Yep. <laughs> Oh, cutscene! Cutscene! Here Cut. comes the this budget! Is, this is just like one of my Japanese anime! <laughs> the carriage catches on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's just up there, wow. like, in the street. Good day. Oh, thanks, man. Good day. Man, I, I bet that voice England actor got time paid. Periods, I wonder how England of those time period thinks about a guy walking out with a sword. Probably not good. <laughs> Especially a foreigner with a sword. Yeah, that's definitely a... Man, I bet I bet that voice actor who was driving the carriage got paid a whole Starbucks gift card to do that. <laughs> yeah, hey folks. Uh, shout out to all the uh, voice actors getting screwed over by Crunchyroll right now. <laughs> Yikes. Not great. Not great. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, right, hey, so, this, this wow. place looks nice. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, uh, there is actually. Yeah, I appreciate that. We've got we've got an elf's shoe up on the mantle. 
A different yeah. shoe on the shelf, along uh, with a along with a, a gavel. One of the hammers Donkey Kong throws at uh, Mario <laughs> in the OG games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bust uh-huh. of possibly Napoleon. Uh, it's, an, yeah. it's, an, it's definitely a Napoleon type hat. Uh huh. Yep. We've got an old gramophone, or a, a Vitrola. Is that what they called it? Or is that a completely different thing? Uh, you know what? I'm the wrong person to ask. You could tell his me it's mail, whatever I believe. His it. mail seems to be stuck to the wall, which is the knife. I mean, that's what I do whenever the IRS sends me anything. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's destroying the resale value of my home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, knife like, marks in all the walls. When I move out, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting any of my deposit back. <laughs> So, this is where the great detective makes his living. It feels surreal to be here somehow. Oh, I don't know what that is. Get the fuck out of is. my way, Mr. Narahodo. I've got to sniff everything. Oh, what? <laughs> don't be, I mean, don't uh, be weird, Sato. Wow, Susato. this is cool. <laughs> Sato, don't embarrass me in front of my cool English friend. <laughs> is it as described in the stories, Miss Sato? Um, Susato-san? Does it smell like all the drugs that Herlock Sholmes does? <laughs> oh. Many, many famous cases have been solved here in this very room. Oh, I, I suppose they must have been, yes. I've never really read the stories, so it's hard to get quite as excited about it as she seems to be. So many incorrect deductions have put so many innocent people in jail in this room. <laughs> we need to contact the uh, the Innocence Project on uh, all Just the get cases. The get the Innocence Project in here immediately. <laughs> the detective ca- the detective chases the villain relentlessly as he disappears into the fog down and un- into the fog down an unlit London street. Oh, the thrill of it! The romanticism! Can't you feel your heart thumping in your chest? Can't you, Mr. Norahodo? Oh! Yes, I can. Oh, I... God, and I, I can't feel my right arm. And do you smell <laughs> burning burnt toast? toast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suppose I can, yes. So, if you don't mind... I'm going Get to be the fuck weird out of now. my way so I can sniff everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just stand here and soak up the atmosphere for a while longer. Please, don't mind me. <sighs> She's obsessed. Well, looks like our detective friend isn't home at present. Excuse me! Is anybody home? Uh, I believe this is you, Bridge. I believe this is a Swedish person, actually. Yeah, actually, oh, this, this, this dialect is I was reminding me of trying to get around Sweden. what's on this <laughs> Oh, do we have a visitor? <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to need a throat clear from you, Bridge. <laughs> 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 Hello. It's the big new case for Mr. Shams. Um, hello. Wait. Aren't you... Oh, how rude of me. I'll go make some tea at once. Now, now remember, we did see Iris last time. Yes. Yeah, so they... She seems, she seems to know Gina... And Gina yes. stole her like her gun, yeah. Smoke, her smoke, smoke her grenade, grenade launcher. launcher. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And then, and then Iris walked up, pointed another bigger one at her, and yeah. was like, "Give it back, or I'll fucking kill you." <laughs> I'm sure it's the same girl, Mr. Sato. Did you see that girl who was just here? Oh yes. Isn't it truly extraordinary? <laughs> to think that the King of Bohemia came to this very room to ask Mr. Sholmes to take on his case. The 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 King King of Bohemia? <laughs> came in here and he came in here and gave his rhapsody. Ah. Uh... <laughs> 
King Wilhelm Gottschrich Sig Sigismund von Orns Ormstein, of course. And Smo. <laughs> so, uh, really, really quick. Zach, don't say those names. <laughs> that, the, again, I haven't read every Sherlock Holmes case, but that might be a reference to one that I have read. Okay. Uh, there is a case in one of the earlier Sherlock Holmes short stories that involves, uh, a duke or it might be a king mm. who comes to sherlock in disguise with a bunch of retainers and asks him to retrieve a letter or i know it's a photograph it's a photograph of him and a woman and it's a woman i believe he's having an affair with and this woman is basically keeping this photograph as leverage against him uh, and he's like if this photo ever gets out i'm ruined you need to go and like find where it is and get it back for me. Gotcha. Uh, and it's actually the first case where we get, oh, I do not remember her name. Is it uh, Irene Adler? I, it's Irene Adler. Yes. Just, it's the Yane, very- Yane Love said it in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Yane. <laughs> Thank you, Yane. Uh, and I don't know if Irene Adler makes an appearance in this, but Irene Adler is a very, very famous character in the Sherlock Holmes books. She's basically the woman that Sherlock Holmes kind of falls for. <gasps> uh, it's never like explicitly said that he's in love with her, but mm. he 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 admits that he has like a fascination with her uh, because she's one speaking. of the only people who ever. Well, yeah, he's she's one of the only people who ever outsmarts him. Oh. Uh, because without spoiling it and going into too much detail, throughout the course of that case, Sherlock thinks that he kind of solves it. But in the end, Irene Adler is like, no, you didn't. I That's actually fun. was one step ahead of you the whole time. Uh, so, yeah, that I think is what that's in relation to is this king visiting him hmm. and being like, I need you to get this photograph for me. Sorry. There's a little bit of Sherlock Holmes truth. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Uh, so here's a question, actually. Sure. What is bull what looks like it's bullet holed into the wall above uh, Sato's right shoulder? That looks to be a V or a slanted N and then an R. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking ooh. as well. Wax, does yeah. that for someone who knows Sherlock Holmes, does that ring any do those initials ring any bell to you? Van Reeks, because he hates the smell of Van Zeeks. Wow. Got him. That was uh, terrible. Okay. <laughs> no, not off the top of my head. All right. Uh, oh, there's, there's people are saying there's, it's Victoria there's... Regina, the Queen of England. Oh, actually, I think well, there it, you go. here's the thing. I was in a play in college, and her name apparently was actually pronounced Victoria Regina. Uh, and that sucks. <laughs> but that's what I was told. That's <laughs> funny because it sounds like a different word. Yeah. Which word? Hey. Elbow. La, uh, la, la <laughs> Boo. Uh, forget the adventures of Sherlock Holmes for a moment and look over there. Uh, excuse me, Zach. Who are the adventures of? Fuck, did I? The adventures oh, of Capcom's Sherlock coming after Holmes. you now. Damn it. Yep, I was going to say this whole series is demonetized now. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> but he's brewed, and I have a freshly baked cake as well. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, it's you. I knew it. Susato-san recognizes her too. Ah, there you are. And I'm taking that with you as well. I was looking forward to the trial run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Oh, good day to you. I'm, well, the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. I do love her theme music. It's so heavy. Yeah, it is good. It's the girl who turned up at the end of Mr. McGilded's trial in the defendant's antechamber. I've never met a lawyer from the Far East before. Or you, having to go straight to work when you've only just arrived in London. Oh, yes, it was challenging. Well, try this tea. It's my special blend, you know? Oh, um, thank you. Is tea supposed to look that color? 
Oh my, what a fragrant yet mellow flavor. Hurrah! It's a winner. I tried blending different tea leaves designed to alleviate fatigue, you see? Oh no, that one was gasoline. <laughs> the tea's over here. <laughs> you must be exhausted after your long voyage here. And you have another ticklish trial tomorrow. Oh, and you and you're to and you're to defend a Japanese man. I do wish you lots and lots of luck. Um Did Mr. Shons tell you about us by any chance? Oh, you know Hurley, do you? Hurley? Mr. Sholmes to you, Shirley. Mr. Sholmes was a fellow passenger on the boat that brought us to Great Britain, you see. Was he really? Well, I had no idea. I'm afraid Hurley's out on an errand again today, even though he's just returned from overseas. Wait a minute. We met this girl for the first time ever yesterday after the trial, and only briefly at that. How on earth does she know so much about us? Did she deduce all those things, do you think? And perhaps more to the point, why is she here in Mr. Sholmes' suite? Oh, silly me. I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yeah, we, we almost gave you a Swedish accent at this point. <laughs> oh, look at her little curtsy. It's a great pleasure to meet you both. My name is Iris Wilson. I love her. Her her outfit is... The hearts oh, and the gloves awesome. is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, do, don't forget... Uh-huh what her last name is oh yeah, yeah. no she's because definitely we, the father or the daughter yeah. of uh he's not wilson but watts no it is wilson it is it's not wilson, watson yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 he did i live here together with hurley ah iris is it what a lovely name what what's the matter no wait this this can't be did, did you did you say that your your name is Wilson? What's the matter with Susato-san? Why is she so flustered all of a sudden? Yes, that's right. And what are your names? Oh, um, I'm Ryunosuke Narahodo, a lawyer from Japan. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm Mr. Narahodo's judicial assistant, Susato Mikotoba. It's wonderful to meet you. Lovely. Yeah. Susie and Runo. Got it. Okay, we're like... <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I didn't prefer Ryan. you could do that. <laughs> I prefer, prefer Ryan. And, uh, I go by Susan, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Susie? And Runo? There's more to this girl than meets the eye. So She's many... a transformer. <laughs> Drake in the chat going wild right now. <laughs> I have so many questions for her. I don't know where to start. Yes, and so do I. Do, do. Yeah? Let's leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, bye. Nice meeting you. Thanks for the tea. Also, I love how our pigtails have little hearts on the end. Oh, they do. It was you that we ran into yesterday, wasn't it? At the Old Bailey? Yes, <laughs> that's right. You were ever so helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, Seshields 2013 said, We don't talk about Rune. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Which is very good. That is good. It's been enough time that we can make those. We don't uh -huh, talk about Rune. Uh -huh. Oh, no, not at all. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry we couldn't have been more welcoming. Though, at the time, we did have a rather large gun pointed at us. Not again! Oh, you mean <laughs> this one? <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thinking back now, you left with Miss Lestrade in tow, didn't you? 
Oh, yes. That awkward witness, Ginny Lestrade. Oh, Ginny? Yes, she's a professional pickpocket. So we found out. It was very naughty of her to pinch my invention like that. Are you referring to that trial-disrupting gun-like contraption? Exactly. So I followed her, you see, to get it back. Hmm. Perhaps I should think about fitting a self-destruct mechanism in my inventions. <laughs> no, what? No, don't do that! <laughs> This girl is dangerous. That girl is dangerous. So dangerous. That girl is so bad, girl. <laughs> anyway, I brought Ginny back here after that. <laughs> so she could apologize to my trusty technician. Sorry, your technician? Uh... Early, of course. Silly. So she is, and that's the same pose that uh, Herlock does. does. Yeah. He does the little, like... Hurley? Yes, Herlock. Herlock Sholmes. We live here together. I... I had no idea the great detective had such a... interesting young daughter. Daughter? Not likely. What? I wouldn't call him Hurley if he was my father, would I? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Well then, what is your relationship with Mr. Sholmes? Wait, Susato, do you not know? Like, you seem like you did. Yeah, I know. Well, I expect you found that lodgings of any kind in London are very expensive. So I squ I have squatter's rights. <laughs> <laughs> so the solution is to share the cost with a partner. A roommate. Uh, city living, Iris. Your roommates? And this is where the, the 90s sitcom theme starts playing. <laughs> Shums comes in like Kramer. Hey! Hey! Yep. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me asking, Iris, but how old are you? I hope you don't mind me asking, I'm... Iris, but how, how much is your rent? <laughs> I'm a thousand! <laughs> Oh, is this a Fire Emblem game? <laughs> Are you part dragon? How did you know I was part dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I have watched over this world for thousands of years. <laughs> I'm hoping to find the one who is worthy of the Fire Emblem. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is not Hurley. <laughs> and at last this year... Well, what of your mother and father? Oh, no. They're not around. Oh. You actually killed one of them. Uh, well, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. Allegedly, I got off for that. <laughs> that case never had someone convicted, so... <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. I forgot that we didn't get the conviction on Giselle Brett. Yeah, that case was never solved. <sighs> I wonder what the story is there. Oh, let's ask for that last name and find out. <laughs> oh, yes. There's something I must ask you. Of course, of course. Go ahead, Susie. Susan, anyway, I am very... I'm a very great fan of the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, and... Do we need to get Jason in here to do his Susie voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, is that... Charlie! <laughs> Noel, <laughs> I'm a great fan of the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> Shit, Jason is actually streaming Fire Emblem right now. That's actually very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. That's uh, fine. Oh, you have a copy of Rats Magazine. Wow, this is the future of gaming. Mm -hmm. Yes, I read every issue. It's delivered all the way to Japan on a ship. This is so exciting. <laughs> My stories are being read on the other side of the world. My stories? Yep, plot twist. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's right. Holy is, sol is always solving such amazing cases, you see. 
and he tells me all about them. Wait, is she also a published author? Yep. They She's really fucking are incredible. Quite fascinating. This girl fucking kicks ass. Yeah, this girl's done more with her life in nine years than I have in fucking 29. Yeah, I'm, so the most, I'm the most that successful. That makes me feel real bad. I'm the most successful 10 year old fucking ever. <laughs> <laughs> it would be such a shame if I was the only one who ever heard them, don't you think? Goodness. Last night, he was telling me all about a new case he just solved on a steamship traveling from a faraway land. So I was just in the middle of typing up the manuscript for the next issue before you came. This, this track also slaps. I forgot how good the music in this game is. Mm -hmm. So you... you... are the author? Yes. I'll... <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yes. I'll let you in on a secret if you like. I'm going to call his latest adventure the Speckled Band. The Speckled Band? That's certainly very familiar. Are you going to tell and the truth of, about it? <laughs> and for those of you who are just joining us and watch the earlier episodes, what are you doing? Go back and watch. <laughs> uh, but that is the actual name of the case in the Sherlock Holmes novels. Yeah, yeah. That is not about a ship whatsoever. <laughs> of course, I always change one or two details in the stories here or there. <laughs> Do you even like mention me? Like the part where Hurley's literally always wrong. I, I changed that <laughs> part so he's not always wrong. God damn it. <laughs> He's really smart in my novels, <laughs> unlike in real life. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> this time. Mega Dizzy Super Fighter says, To be fair, the adventures of the Great Trip and Fall don't really have the same ring to it. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's an amazing name for a book. I don't yeah, even out of that. The Legend of the Big Oopsie Doopsie. I don't know what a speckled band is. I know what a Great Trip and Fall is, and I'm curious. <laughs> This time, I had the idea of making a venomous snake be the cause of all the trouble. And that is what happens in the book. Oh, that was Mr. Sholmes' first thought as well, actually. But he was wrong about it. Yes, <laughs> and of course, I know that a snake might not be a credible fit for the facts of the case exactly, but... It's a story. Some poetic license is justified to make it more thrilling, I think. Don't you? Yeah, and in Britain in the turn of the century, there's no such thing as laws against libel or slander or anything. So or copyright. Yes. So, like, do whatever you want. <laughs> so, do you mean to say, are the stories about Mr. Sholmes that are published in Rance magazine? <gasps> yes, they're all lies. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, I was like, wait, is Susatu about to have her whole worldview destroyed? <laughs> right, that's what I thought she was getting to. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, all none of it's real? <laughs> all written by me. Yes, I'm my wonderful and very modern typewriter. But, but all the stories I've ever read are written by a doctor in medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson. Susatsu-san's getting more and more worked up. Yes, that's me. Don't listen to him, Mr. Narahodo. This little shit is lying. <laughs> I mean, my name really is Wilson. But, but what about the doctor of medicine part? Well, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, you're fucking not, Iris. That's all you do. I'm an inventor, writer, and a doctor of medicine. No, no, That's no. Eight. No, no, no. No. At 10 years old? Did they just give these away? Where'd you get your doctor in a cereal box? <laughs> At 10 years old? Well, it's quite incredible. Yeah, I'm a clown doctor. You see the clown shoes on the mantle? <laughs> but, but, but... <laughs> Mr. Sato's eyes here. <laughs> I know, she's... Dr. Wilson is an English gentleman. 
Ryanosuke killed him. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, no, yeah, okay, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, Queen, but... I did alter the setting slightly for the stories to be more compelling. Oh. Well, it sounds a little strange, doesn't it? A great detective with a 10-year-old girl in tow? Yeah, it sounds almost as strange as a great lawyer with a 10-year-old girl in tow. <laughs> hey, Maya's like 17 and Pearl's 8. <laughs> <laughs> When you average out their ages, you get like 13. So, so. so Iris, Bleh. how would you like to be my new judicial assistant? <laughs> <laughs> Can you channel ghosts or anything? <laughs> I suppose it does, yes. Also, based on this position, it looks like Susato is sporting a nice knife uh, hair ornament. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Susato-san. She looks like her whole world has just fallen apart. How could this they're happen not going, to me? They're not going to mention the victim from the first case. No, they aren't. Not yet. Um, about before. Yes. Yes. What's on your mind, Runo? Do tell me. How did you know? That I was a lawyer, and we just arrived in London, I mean. Yes. Oh, and that we have a difficult trial tomorrow. How did you know all of that? Well, you look Japanese. You're wearing you the lawyer's also a armband. Yeah. You're wearing the lawyer's armband. I don't really know too many other Japanese lawyers, so I kind of had to assume you're new. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. Please, tell us how you did it. Explain every detail. Of course, I'd be delighted. Although, there's really no mystery. Now, let's begin. <laughs> <gasps> yeah! Yo! Iris Wilson is proud to present... Her logic and reasoning spectacular. Look at her little bug eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> You're in the shadow realm. <laughs> First of all, I already knew that you were a lawyer, Runo. It's a bit more yellow than I imagined it would be. <laughs> well, my shadow realm's cute, obviously. <laughs> After all, I met you yesterday at the Old Bailey in the defendant's antechamber. But you, al you also said that we'd only just arrived in London. How did you know that? I observed a passport and travel ticket protruding from your breast pocket. Oh. So I was reasonably confident that you also only just arrived in the country. And on top of that, you accepted a case against that particular prosecutor. Uh. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Telling me that you were unaware of London's court affairs. This man is 100% a fucking vampire. Like, come on. <laughs> this... No, I'm not, a, I'm not a vampire. I'm a racist. <laughs> a dragoon. Not mutually exclusive, though. <laughs> the racist of the Bailey. I walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> I noticed a red ink step on the back of Susie's hand. She just got back from the clubs last that, night. Damn it! I was about to say. It's like, oh, well, that's where your reasoning's wrong. This is from the club. <laughs> I party hard. Hey, baby. White folks, gangsters in the door. Hey, baby. Stein with I got turned up last night. <laughs> you were given that when you visited the local prison to meet with the suspect, weren't you? Earlier today. Ah. Uh, how did you know that the party that the club is inside the prison? <laughs> this is the hottest club in London. <laughs> the party don't start till I walk in. <laughs> you don't think I use my tech to help the DJ? <laughs> I also I also invented dubstep. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. They use those stamps to keep a close eye on comings and goings, you see. 
I didn't realize. And a red stamp is only used for people visiting foreign inmates. That's, That's an weird. interesting distinction to make, yeah. Yeah, how yeah. many? Okay. So, that told me that you had only... Uh, that So, that told me that even though you had only arrived, you, you had only yesterday concluded the trial of Magnus P. Gilded, the two of you had already caused to visit a foreign inmate in a local prison. However, neither of you was wearing a particularly sad expression on your face. So I concluded that the prisoner was unlikely to be a friend or a relative. You're right, we really don't uh, give a shit about him. <laughs> oh no, it is a friend. It is a relative. We just hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're my uncle from Thanksgiving. You know, <laughs> that's the one that talks that about That one politics. uncle. <laughs> yeah. We um, all have them. French, we live in Ohio. There's several uncles like that. <laughs> that led me to believe that you must have accepted a new case. I... I see. But how could you have known that the trial is tomorrow? Well, having barely been home a few hours yesterday, Hurley incorrectly solved yet another case. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Ah! <laughs> it obviously amused him to watch another man, another innocent man, be sent to jail. He's <laughs> he fucked up like that. <laughs> he told me that he caught a Japanese man who was bawling and trembling. He loves when they cry. Jesus. It's the only Jesus. thing that brings him joy anymore. <laughs> oh my God. It's the thrill of the hunt that gets him now. <laughs> a Japanese man? Well, clearly that must have been... Mr... N oh. Mr. Natsume! Now, Runo has that fancy Japanese sword. And I think your outfit is called a kimono? Isn't it, Susie? Well, anyway, it was clear to me that you both come from Japan yourselves. I mean... Yeah. So I put two and two together and decided you must be defending the Japanese man, Harley Cott. And there was only one conclusion those facts led to lead me to. You both came here to ask Hurley about the case. Wow, she's actually good at that. I was going to say, I appreciate wow, that she got smart. everything right. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> There's a note on the mantel place that says the man's trial will be tomorrow. Hurley is always a stay. Hurley is always stabbing his notes with a knife, you know. He is silly. Hurley's always stabbing Practice people in the back and blaming others. <laughs> He's practicing for when he gets to stab the people that he catches in the act. <laughs> and that's all there was to it, really. Thank you for listening. I'm Iris Wilson, and that was one of my great deductions. She's adorable. She's cute. Well, was it a winner? Were my deductions correct? They... They were spot on. That was amazing, Iris. Truly a great deduction. You even managed the certain something of Mr. Sholm's delivery. Oh, well, I was just copying Hurley's style for that. This is really very good news. You could tell us all about the case involving the Japanese man. You will, won't you, Iris? Please? Hey. hey. The case of the Japanese man. Why isn't the chapter called that? Yeah. <laughs> so, yesterday, Mr. Sholmes apprehended a Japanese man. Uh, you were saying? Yes. Hurley had just arrived back in London after his sea voyage. But the police were waiting for him at the railway station to take him directly to the crowd scene. Ah, the great detective is a popular man, it seems. Apparently, a woman was stabbed in a quiet street somewhere in town. There were witnesses who had seen a short, shifty-looking, stooped man running away from the scene. 
A short, shifty looking, stooped man. Mr. Natsumi, behind any, beyond any doubt. So Seki-san said that he didn't see anybody else on the street at all. It seems there were witnesses after all. They used his great deductive powers to determine the man's address. It was a lodging room, very nearby. He went directly there with the police, and what did they find? A short, shifty-looking, stooped man, shivering in fear. <sighs> Mr. Sholm's great deduction certainly hit the mark that time. Of course it did. He's a great detective. Still, that means the incident occurred only two days ago. Surely tomorrow is too soon for the trial, isn't it? Oh, Ryanosuke, this is the Ace Attorney world. <laughs> Definitely. We have no time to investigate properly. Charlie says that London is rife with crime. <laughs> oh. Scotland Yard is doing its best, but they can't stay on top of it, apparently. Oh dear. I hadn't realized the situation was so dire. That's why they can't spend, afford to spend too much time investigating cases and trying the criminals in court. Staff and money are both short. Crimes are usually pinned on the first suspicious person. Well, it's good to see nothing's changed. Nothing, nothing changes <laughs> ever. Uh, That's terrible. I suppose it's the harsh reality of the workings of the world's of the world's greatest justice system. <laughs> you do realize how contradictory those uh, statements are. Uh, <laughs> we blame the first suspicious person. We are the best. Wow, amazing, incredible. We are so fucking good at this. <laughs> I suppose it is. But in that case, I don't hold out much hope for Suseki-san. Yep, he's a goner. <laughs> Dead man walking. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you for answering so many of our questions, Iris. This has been very informative. Oh, most welcome. <laughs> I've had so much fun. Oh, you're so cute. Do you happen to know where Mr. Sholmes is at the moment? As you guessed, we'd like to ask him some questions about the case as well. Uh, well... I expect Harley is still investigating the scene. Of the case involving Mr. Natsumi, you mean? Yes, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Natsume. Harley said he was going to the mad lodgings. Please, Mr. Nuts was my father. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Balls. <laughs> God damn it. If you leave now, he'll probably you can, you can call me D's. <laughs> That's good. If you leave now, you'll probably catch him there. Iris, do you know where those lodgings are? Well, I imagine the police are still investigating the scene of the crime themselves, aren't they? Did you happen to come across a detective by the name of Gregson when you were there? Yes. We know Inspector Gregson and his black magic fish and chips. <laughs> oh, I invented those. <laughs> what? You solved world hunger, you're ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was nothing, really. Oh, goody. In that case... Give Gregson, give Gregson this from me, would you? It's even pink. If you do that, I'm sure he'll tell you what you want to know. What is this? A five shilling piece and a postcard, it seems. We're going to I bribe like, the police. Like the Bribery! <laughs> <laughs> what? It works for me every time. <laughs> Bribery works especially well on Mr. Gregson. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most crooked cop there is. <laughs> it reads... Tell the gentleman in black whatever he wants to know. I trust that won't be a problem. Or else. 
<laughs> Gosh, this will make the inspector help us, will it? Well, thank you, Iris. We'll give it a try. Up then. I'm going to return to writing my manuscript, The Speckled Bond. And I was making more special blends of tea, so come back again soon. I imagine we'll have to. <laughs> We'd be delighted. Thank you so much, Iris. Well, Mr. Narahodo, it's back to the scene of the crime. Unless we're to inspect things. So, we somewhat... Things in this room, in which case we need to do that. Somewhat dubious that they would exert any influence over the men of Scotland Yard at all. We headed back to the scene with Iris's oh, curious okay. note and one of the world's heaviest silver coins in hand. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to look at things. <laughs> Oh, that was the... Well, to be continued. We finished the right investigation now. segment. That's going to do it for this week's stream. Uh, thank you again. Uh, thank reminder, you so much. Next week we'll be on YouTube, so don't tune into Twitch. Yep, um, and all of our streams are going to be 30 minutes long from now on. So Next week we'll be on Mixer. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving to Facebook gaming. It looks as though the police are still here, carrying on with their investigation. Perfect. So let's find Inspector Gregson as quickly as possible. Yes, and let's see <laughs> let's see if he'll take a break from his chips to look at that silver tip Iris gave us for him. Seriously, are we actually going to bribe are we actually going to bribe a police man? I, uh, I guess think so. That's what we're about to do right now. Damn man. Ethics be fucking damn. This game this game gets the one in ethics. That's true. That's, that's <laughs> really true. <clears throat> Alright. Oh what? I forgot. Oh yeah, you can look at oh, it. Oh that's dope. Look at this game. Yeah, remember remember we can do this? Video games. Yeah. Yeah. And it said there's exactly what she said on the back. Yeah, it did. Tell the gentleman. In black to answer his questions. I thought he was going to hand it to him and be like, Oh, well, all right. Ah, why did you kick me in the nuts? <laughs> well, that's what it says right here. Kick the Japanese man who gives you the note in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, Inspector Gregson, do you have a moment? Oh, I'm sorry to say I don't. I'm a very busy man. Much too busy to talk to a pair of foreign gadabouts, that's for sure. I'm trying to find yeah. my chin. <laughs> I don't have one. You've seen it anywhere. This face right in the neck. <laughs> Cut from my bloody chin. They call me old No Chin Gregson down at the yard. <laughs> we have these for you. I'm the opposite of Jay Leno. Uh huh. My mortal enemy. Uh, also, Jay Leno, super popular and <laughs> in vogue media figure. Yeah, yeah, he's not really relevant anymore. We have these for you. A present from Miss Iris Wilson. What? For me? <laughs> from her ladyship? <laughs> Her ladyship? Give that here! At once! Go on, hand it over! That's for me! Uh, don't wait for me to give it to you, will you? No one... <laughs> give me my bribes! <laughs> um, what was that coin exactly? It's a token for Chuck E. Cheeses! <laughs> I'm gonna play I the love... ball game! I love playing the ski ball. Ski ball, yeah. Fucking amazing <laughs> all, ski ball. I win so many tickets. <laughs> it's a silver crown, obviously, but it's a lot more than that. It's, well, it's an appearance fee. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about this. An appearance fee? Oh, I see. You mean... That's right. For the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. 
Her ladyship always offers me a little financial reward for featuring me. Every time. Yes, yes, of course. I know all about your exploits, Inspector. I read them avidly. Of course, uh, using my name without my say-so does make me the butt of a lot of unpleasant jokes. But still, I... I'm down for the odd bit of dosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Inspector. That must be difficult for you. Never you mind that. So, what do you want to know then, eh? Uh, sorry. Tell the gentleman in black whatever he wants to know. I trust that won't be a problem, he says. Well, obviously it's not a problem. Go on, fire away. What do you want to know? Well, if you wouldn't mind, Inspector. We'd very much like to know the address of Mr. Natsumi's lodgings. Ah, the little knife-wielding mustachioed Japanese fella. He lives in a right old hovel. It's right just it's just right over there, look. I appreciate that Natsumi like constantly says that he hates his living situation. And even Gregson is like, yeah, it sucks, man. <laughs> he lives in a shit hole. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> on the first floor of that house on the corner where that wreck of a bicycle's propped up. That is nearby indeed. If I remember rightly, the landlord is a Mr. John Garideb. Right, well, if you see her again, you make sure you give her ladyship my regard, you hear? I mean it. You tell her that Gregson sends his very best wishes. Don't worry, Inspector. We will. Goodbye for now, then. And long live her ladyship. Jesus. <laughs> it's also funny because it's long, long live the queen, which is... The queen? Uh... The queen can kick rocks. Gregson's all about <laughs> Iris Wilson. <laughs> yeah, how long was the her funeral? procession when he when, when Gregson heard our Queen Elizabeth he's like I don't care is Iris Wilson okay <laughs> <laughs> well at least he told us what we wanted to know before he left yes so then shall we go and see what we can find in Mr. Natsume's lodgings definitely <laughs> <laughs> 